Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about something I've had a couple of questions about recently and so I wanted to explain it in more detail and that's about the equipment I use when I'm filming and also when I'm editing. Um, first thing I'm going to be talking about is my tripod that I use um, for when I'm filming on the bed especially. Um, it's a Philburn D600, um, it used to be my dad's, I don't, I have no idea how long he's had it or if you can even buy it anymore but yeah. <laughs> um, you have these on it meaning the height's fully adjustable to whatever height you need it to be and it can actually go really tall <laughs> if you want it to, um, like up to the height of my head at least. Um, and so that's really good for that and it has a really easy bit on the top where you just slide the camera in and then pull this around to lock it um, so it's really easy to use um, and it has a really good range of flexibility for filming at different angles um, once I've filmed, to edit my videos I use a program called Pinnacle Studio on my iPad um, so to get the footage off my camera I use this cable um, which will come with the camera that you get and you can also buy them at loads of different shops Oops. and if you use it with a laptop then you don't need this end bit you just connect this into your computer but if you're going to use an Apple device like me you need to buy this from the end of it I'm not sure if this is going to come out very well because it's focusing on the screen but I'll give it a go and excuse the cracks in the screen <laughs> it's called dropping it one too many times anyway as I said I use a program called Pinnacle Studio for iPads um, it's really cheap compared to the laptop version it's only like 5 quid or whatever I know the laptop version can do more but that's like 60 quid or whatever um, so it comes up with this page and it will look empty like this when you first come on and you just click on here and name your project or your video so I'm gonna call this one my filming equipment unsurprisingly um, and then it will come up with this interface and then you can use this tab side here to add pictures or videos so let me just for an example um, so this is the picture that I put at the end of my videos um, so you just click on it, double tap it and it will come down here and then you can use these buttons here to increase the length of it or reduce the length of it however you want and you can do exactly the same with, vid with videos to crop off the starts and ends of them like when you're clicking the camera and sitting down for instance when I'm using it on my bed um, to add titles and other texty videos you can use any of these different text styles this is the one I typically use so then you can just put it in and then you can edit the text to say whatever you want just something random there um, and you can move this around the screen to wherever you want it to be you can also put it on top of a picture or video by clicking it on top and putting, pressing composite and then the text, I'm not sure if you can see that, but appears on top of the picture or video and it will stay there for the whole of that video, if it's a video, you know. Um, yeah. And then obviously you can put together as many different pictures or videos as you want. Um, also, oh, you can use this to split it in half, to split it into two separate ones, if you want to move different parts of that video or picture around. There are loads of other effects that you can do. Um, you can put music on top of it. Um, ignore the music on there, that's my dad's stuff. <laughs> I don't know why that's come up. And there's plenty of other things that I haven't really played around with yet. And you can also click on this to record your voice. Um, and then it records whatever you're saying. And then that's how you do like voiceovers on videos. So like if I keep that and then play it. And then it records whatever you're saying and then that's how you do like voiceovers on the video. And then it will keep the sound from the video as well, you know, and you can layer them together. So that's really cool. Then if you want to upload videos on like an iPad or a phone or whatever you'll need this app which is called YouTube Capture. Um so once you've created video on Pinnacle Studio or any other editing program, 
um, you can save it to your camera roll and then all the videos on your camera roll will appear here I only actually have one at the moment because I delete them once I upload them um, um, and then you can just click on that and then you can um, like put your title for your video and do your description and everything and then it will upload it for you and once you've uploaded it you can copy the link so that you can then share it on social media and things like I always share my videos on my Facebook anybody that has me on Facebook will know that um, so yeah that's a must if you're planning on using your Apple devices to upload uh, I'm sorry if the picture and the voice over for that the voice for that matter sound really bad right now but because I'm talking about my camera obviously I can't talk about I can't show you my camera while I'm filming on it so I'm filming on my iPad right now um, I use a Canon G10 it's a really good little camera I've had it for years um, I've dropped it God knows how many times and it still works just as well so that's really cool um, it does picture as well as video by adjusting the settings here you can see it's on video at the moment and it's really really easy to use um, it's got pretty good quality video the sounds not wonderful but wonderful but it's still really good and yeah it's what I've always used and you can adjust stuff like the exposure to like affect the light levels and that is just about it um, I hope you found this video useful maybe if you're planning on doing anything like this yourself or I don't know just just out of interest maybe <laughs> anyway um, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye